Our little raid on Bridgetown turned out to be quite the exercise. The one torpedo we launched at the destroyer failed to hit the target, and in the end we were bombarded by the Tommies from above. Thankfully, none of the charges came close to hitting the boat, and no damage was sustained. The crew of the U-105 kept their composure during the entire attack, contributing to our successful escape. They all deserve a bit of R&R when we get home. Hello everyone, Wolfpack here, and welcome to part 7 of our third patrol in Silent Hunter 3. We're currently submerged at around 24 meters, really just to get my bridge crew a little break from the stormy weather above. Yep, you heard me right. It is raining and stormy once again. The seas are terrible. <laughs> it seems like every time I get a break, uh, it's immediately followed by more rough seas, which is quite frustrating to be, frankly honest with you but that's the way it is so we'll have to make do we're currently heading southwest towards these ports down here where according to this chart is a lot of traffic it's a pretty pretty concentrated we also have a convoy route way up here near this port as well so we might swing by there i am getting a little bit worried about fuel we're at around 50 percent fuel so we do need to think about our return trip and we don't want to uh screw ourselves by using all our fuel way out here on the other side of the world because if that happens well we're boned uh granted we do have our two resupply boats out here and we also have one way down here but uh that still makes me nervous quite frankly i want to be able to uh make it home on one tank <laughs> if we need to stop we need to stop but uh, i'd prefer just to make it home but anyway we've been at sea for quite a long time we departed on april 12th and it's currently june 6th so been out quite a while. Anyway, the plan is to head towards this area and see if we can find anything. The torpedo situation is okay. We have two torpedoes in the aft and then uh, five in the forward compartments. And four are loaded in the tubes, obviously. So yeah, that is the current plan of action. We are leaving the area of Bridgetown because that turned out to be a disaster. And uh, we're going on to hopefully bluer waters so i will go ahead and cut here and get back to you guys whenever we pick up something of interest okay we have an aircraft spotted yeah, crash dive going? it's close very fast oh man that thing is very close to us and it is closing awfully fast uh, my watch crew spotted that a little bit late let's go ahead and get men on the repair team as well just before <laughs> Just in case, let's go ahead and also check our depth. We're in fairly shallow waters. 341 meters, so yeah, we definitely have plenty of space for this crash dive, thankfully. And I think we're gonna get under before the aircraft can reach us. Phew. That looked significantly closer than it was, but we're still hanging out at around 10 meters. The weather is far from perfect. As you can see, the rain has stopped, but there's still, you know, lightning storms about, and also these seas are pretty choppy so all right let's go ahead and get under and we'll make a let's go ahead and turn as well and i think we should be a-okay let's go ahead and drop our speed down as we're plummeting down we're already at 31 meters i think we successfully evaded that aircraft all right well that was quite exciting and unexpected <laughs> quite frankly so there are definitely aircraft in this area I decided to go ahead and make a little, uh, kind of skim this deep water over in this area. I don't want to get into uh, anything crazy like here, although I'm sure this would be quite lucrative if we were to do this, but uh, I'm not that suicidal just yet. So we're going to go ahead and maintain our depth here. Of, we'll just go down to 60 meters, hang out, take a listen, make sure our position wasn't radioed in to any destroyers, and uh, go ahead and surface and continue the hunt. Okay, we got a report of a ship heading south. The speed is slow, so I'm guessing it's moving at around seven or so knots. We just hit the surface and are gaining speed to standard because I do plan to intercept this fellow over here. Let's go ahead and check on our crew and make sure everyone's all happy. Of course they're not. <laughs> Whenever I check on them, I also forgot to put these guys to sleep. Oh, yikes. Yeah, my crew is getting awfully tired. This has been definitely a long, long voyage for them. And you are tired, my friend. Go ahead. Go get some rest. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and use some time compression and close in on... God 
Damn it. Crash dive. Oh boy. Oh no. That's concerning. I see, I don't see us out there. It's pretty close though. <laughs> I hope that thing doesn't drop its payload on me. It's definitely coming. Lots of guns there. But I think we successfully got under. We're already at 10 meters. Yeah, I think we're A-OK -okay from the Liberator. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're fine. Phew! Well, that maybe we'll pick this guy up on hydrophones. Lots of air bases around here, it seems. Let's go ahead and bring our speed down to, you know, normal. And we'll hang out at crash dive depth, which is at around 70 meters. All right, well, I'll go ahead and wait a little bit of time. Hopefully, uh, we weren't radioed into this merchant ship and he's changed course, but we'll find out rather soon if he's not where we think he's going to be. All right, we got a uh, contact here. It's closing in on us. Let's go ahead and come up to periscope depth real quick and see what's going on, see what's what. And we lost it when we came up. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look, see if we can see it. If not, we'll hit the surface and try to pursue. There we go. There she is. Zero three three degrees. It looks like a Granville type freighter. Lock on target. It's pretty far out, however. Thankfully, it's not raining and visibility isn't too poor. It looks like it's heading, yeah, heading southeast. Interesting. Okay, well, that makes interception a bit easier for us. But it's heading right into our laps, actually. Which is very nice of it. Thank you. Oh, we have another merchant. Closing. Zero nine nine. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that down. Looks like they're falling right into our lap. I think this is the one we were actually uh, trying to intercept since it is following that track. If that's the case, we're in position to really hit both of these guys really fast. Um, I'm definitely, I'm probably going to have to shoot this one with my forward tubes, but maybe the second guy I can get with the aft. Let's see, let's go ahead and get a weapon officer on station. Let's take a look here. Yep, that is definitely a Granville, so let's go ahead and find that in our identification book do to do, do and the clicking begins there she is plug that in and I think we have plenty of time to just go ahead and do the good old 315 method here let's go ahead and get out our stopwatch and we're unfortunately we're not tracking the target because the game hates me let's go ahead and start it should be a okay. Two. All right, closing in on three minutes and 15 seconds is coming right up. All right, and 15 mark. There we go. That should be good enough for us. Nine knots. Probably going closer to 10. Speed's medium. It could be 9. 9 is actually serviceable. I'm actually going to try... Let's try this one more time. We have time. Might as well. Go ahead and start the clock. And we're going to close in nice and close. I do want to make this a very short range shot to ensure our torpedoes hit. Especially after uh, our last torpedo attack. I'm itching for something successful. 2... Three minutes, closing in on 15 seconds here. Looks like we won't be able to get as close to the target as I would like, but this is, once again, serviceable. Mark. Nine knots, once again. All right, so it looks like she is heading on a heading. <laughs> heading of, looks like, one, three, five degrees. Speed, nine knots. There we go, that's her track right there. And let's go ahead and adjust course slightly, make our heading 240. Alright, let's get this out of the way. And we're going to shoot a spread here. We'll shoot a salvo. And we'll shoot tubes 1 and 4. 
seems good with me. This is going to be a long shot, unfortunately for us. It looks like the range to their track is around 3.3. Oof. Let's go ahead and increase speed. Try to close this gap. Yeah, we're a bit farther than I would like to be, unfortunately, but this is doable. Where's our ship? Okay, let's go ahead and get the wheel up. So the ship is heading on a course of 353 degrees. Oh, we actually want it over on. No, we want it like this. Or 335 degrees, sorry. Excuse me. There we go. So AOB right now is at about 70 degrees. Alright, so since we're firing at such a long range, we'll go ahead and keep these torpedoes for long and we'll have them. Ooh, do I want to use magnetics though? That is a good question. It's like the depth, the keel of the ship is 6.1 meters. Let's go ahead and set ours to 7 meters thereabouts. Should be fine. And we will use magnetic pistols. Go ahead and make sure they are locked in there. Alright. Range the target. We can actually use sonar here. What do we got going on? 3,630 meters. Oh, come on now. Go. Yeah, pretty far. Pretty far shot, but that looks okay to me. We're actually going to reduce our spread to zero. Alright, so I think we have our target all set up here. I think everything is ready. Oh, except speed. Speed is 9 knots, right? There we go. And now we just lay in wait. Gyro angle is at 11 degrees. So let's go ahead and wait till that hits zero. Hopefully we can get a wee bit closer before we fire our torpedoes, but it looks like this will have to do. Let's get one more range estimate real quick on the target. Looks like we have another ship at 130. I wonder if that's our other friend. Okay, around the same range. Range is pretty much the same. Uh, just a small error. Let's bring it up. Go. Alright, open tubes. One and four. Let's do a quick rundown. Speed angle on bow is almost 90. It looks like it's at around 80 degrees. That's okay. Uh, speed 9 knots. Range 3,500 yards. Or meters, excuse me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Depth uh, 7 meters. And gyro or spread is zero. Okay, I think that's fine. Tubes one and four. Los. All right, there they go. Mmm, a yummy drink. All right, both eels are away. That does not look bad to me. Once again, like I said, it is a fairly long shot for me. As most of you know, I do like my. Nice close shots, but these look like they're running hot, straight, and normal, straight for the target. And one of them prematurely detonated. Of course it did. Uh, I would expect nothing less. It probably smashed into um, into a wave or something. Yeah, there we go. But here we have number two. The little torpedo that could, maybe. This actually looks rather good. Uh, hopefully it does not prematurely detonate and actually runs all the way to its target. Go, little torpedo, go. It's American. <laughs> That's always good to know right at the end. And that looks great right there. That actually looks really good. Top torpedo impact. impact. There we go. That was right under the center. I am actually very proud of that attack. Unfortunately, I don't know if it'll be enough to bring down a Granville. Uh, just one torpedo. But that is a very critical hit right there. A lot of people have been suggesting I actually look at these as well to find the wing spots of a lot of these ships and uh, aim for them. So there is that. I do need to keep these in mind in the future, but eh, it looks like the Granville. It looks like I did hit it in a pretty good spot right there. Right in the middle is its weaker spot. So, All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. 
in this view and see how she's doing. She's listing. Maybe she'll uh, slow down. Maybe I've crippled her. It doesn't look like she's really moving in the water anymore. So I could mark this position and go off and wait for that other ship as heading in the area. It looks like her screws are stopped. I don't know how devastating that torpedo was. Unfortunately, it, I, if two had hit, I know it would be going down, but uh, I don't know if one's enough. Wow, it's really rocking in these waves now without any movement. Yeah, I think she might actually be going down here. Oh my goodness, imagine being on that. Holy cow. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on this Granville-type freighter, but we also have our other friend coming from the north. Oh, let's go ahead and use some time compression here. Looks like the Granville is indeed dead in the water. Yeah, sure is. So let's go ahead and mark this area and focus on the ship coming from the north. And while we're at it, let's get boys in there and start reloading that torpedo. Oh no, we have to dive down below 25 meters, so let's go ahead and go down to 30 meters and reload that torpedo. Fuck! Holy shit! That was scary. <laughs> okay, we took some damage. Reloading the torpedoes now that were, you know, 20 degree down angle. That makes sense. Alright. <laughs> Let's go down to 40 meters. That was unexpected. I just saw that thing pop up on the map. All right, the damage was minimal. That could have been significantly worse. Let's see, what, where are you? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, hello there, Avengers. Well, I guess we're lucky that damage was minimal. Let's check our boat ex on the exterior. We have anything crazy? No, not really. Let's go ahead. No blast marks, no missing deck panels. Everything's okay. Everything is fine. Let's go ahead and slow down. <laughs> oh boy. They definitely know we're here. All right. Well, I'm wondering if this ship up here is going to be zigzagging now. Uh, if the captain was smart, they would be. Let's go ahead and make another turn. And we need to listen for any warships in the area now as well. I'm thinking of hitting this Granville real quick with a stern torpedo and just finishing it off and then heading to pursue this other ship. I think that might be the best way to go about this so let's go ahead and turn and see torpedo is almost loaded. Once this torpedo is loaded in its tube we'll go ahead and pop up to periscope depth finish this ship off with a coup de gras and uh look north towards this other ship, whatever it may be. It could be a sailboat, for all we know, so. <laughs> all right, tube one is ready. Let's go ahead and come up to periscope depth. Damage control is still working away. Let's go ahead and you get up in there. Let's switch these officers around a bit. Okay. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. No, let's go ahead and finish this Granville off. It's in our baffles now, so we're not able to hear her. And I do want to keep track of this. I want to be able to maneuver into a firing position um, before we miss our opportunity here. I don't want to resurface, especially with those Avengers lurking about. Up scope. Should be pretty behind us somewhere. There it is. There's the Granville. Alright, lock on target. Speed is zero. Angle on bow. Looks like uh, probably 70, 75 degrees. Range to target. I'm, I don't think we're going to be able to get a good range with the sonar. Because it is behind us in our baffles. Let's try, actually. I don't think we'll even actually get it picked up here. Yeah, no 
target. So that's that's my issue with that. So let's go ahead and we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh boy. I think it's at around 3,000 meters. I think that's a safe bet here. Come on, wave. There we go. No way. 2,000 meters. Okay. All right, we'll shoot tube 5. We'll shoot it at a depth of... Seven meters, magnetic pistol, long range, open tube number five. Let's check our map. This is a stationary target. Oh, my worry is it might drift some. It could be drifting with the current. Let's see, is it? Alright, we'll shoot for this area right here. So be sure. Two five, fire. Alright, two five is away. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good path right there. I don't think we'll have any issues hitting it. Hopefully this torpedo doesn't prematurely detonate like our uh, other one we had. Again, it is in pretty rough weather, so. But I think if this hits, this Granville is definitely done for. And we can move on to our second target. This has turned out to be quite the episode already. We've been bombed twice <laughs> from the air, but it looks like we might uh, bag ourselves two merchant ships. Now, I'm thinking with the torpedo situation as it is right now, it might be best to head on home after this upcoming attack and maybe resupply, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how everything goes, but I think heading home after this next attack might be smart, frankly. Uh, sticking out here might be, with only two torpedoes or whatnot, might be a terrible, terrible idea. Looks like our torpedo is running hot straight normal. Looks very good. I think we have ourselves an impact here. We will shortly find out. I'm like one of those sports announcers trying to hype this up. Get hyped, everybody. Woo! All right. There we go. There we go. Another hit. Bingo. And yeah, there's a big flame on deck. And yeah, she's erupted in the flames. They're abandoning ship, I bet. Yeah. Alright. That is a Granville type freighter going down to the bottom of the sea. Oh, getting some secondaries. And there's the flare. Yeah, that might have been... Oh, boy. Okay, the game does not want me to speak. <laughs> Every single little thing is... Oh, hello there. Yeah, that Granville is definitely gone, going down. <laughs> oh, man, that was quite a few explosions. All right, let's go ahead and lower our scope and go down to around 20 meters. Hopefully no air units can pick us up. <laughs> If we do that, take those precautions. And let's go ahead and head north-northeast here towards this contact. Okay, we've gotten very close to the contact here, and it looks like... Let's go ahead and take a look. I just raised our scope so we could finally see. It seems like this ship is moving at a fairly quick pace. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and raise our scope a little bit more. The sea state is pretty rough, and that... I'm not sure exactly what that is. I do think it is a tanker, however. It's obviously one of the smaller tankers here. Nippon Park-type tanker. Uh, yeah, that's definitely it. We have these two L-shaped posts. Yeah, that's that's it right there. 2,000 tons. So I'm thinking I'll shoot one torpedo at this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, use the 315 method here. I don't know actually if we'll have time to do this completely, but uh, why why the heck not? Might as well try, right? Let's see, so they said this ship was initially heading uh, medium speed when we got the radio port. So it could... It's probably heading around 10 knots like this other guy down here. Uh, also, I have a feeling this ship would definitely be zigzagging since, you know, 
what, how many, you know, 20 kilometers away? Yeah, 10 kilometers away, a ship just got torpedoed. Um, he'd probably know about that and would be zigzagging. But he can do whatever he wants, I suppose. <laughs> I guess it's his, uh, his ship, his rules, all right? All right, so we're going ahead and closing in on three minutes. All right, so we're going to have to make this snappy. See five, and we're firing at a, you know, not extremely close range like previously. So this will be another, I guess, medium range shot is what this is here. All right, let's go ahead and mark the target, and get our speed here. It's like speed is oh, okay. It's going pretty slow. Seven knots, easy enough. And it looks like he's on a heading of, um, I guess one five three degrees. Okay, interesting. Really, only seven knots. Wow, that is really pretty, pretty slow compared to what I was expecting. But, yep, seven knots. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and lower this a little bit. Let's go ahead and start laying all of this stuff in. Let's get our... So we said he was on a course of... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I already forgot. Uh, 153. 153. I was, saying, I was thinking 135. Uh, obviously, I just mixed up the uh, the letters there. All right, so one, one five three. Okay, like so. Angle on bow is around a hundred degrees. We'll be shooting tube one today. Speed seven knots. Draft on the ship is six point nine meters. So we'll go ahead and set our to magnetic pistol, and we'll shoot at eight meters I guess 7.9 thereabouts slow speed everything looks hunky-dory here let's go ahead and get a quick range estimate using the sonar I am so glad I took this sonar it is <laughs> I've been using it quite frequently out here 2,000 meters there go all right open tube one and we will fire in just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and stop this and get this out of the way. And we'll wait for our gyro angle to hit zero and we will launch tube number one. Hopefully there's no airplanes about again. All right. And once this hits zero, 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 tube one will be launched. All right, any second now. This ship is really bobbing in the water. Alright, tube one. Los. There we go. Alright, the torpedo's away, but this ship is so small, it's really bobbing up and down in the water. Hopefully, our magnetic pistol actually goes off here. Let's go ahead and lower scope. Looks like time to target's around two and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and lay, lay down and wait here. Let's go ahead and slow down as well. Uh, let's check our hydrophones. Listen to our torpedo hit. There's the merchant, and there's our torpedo dead ahead. Oh, this is going to be awesome, folks. I love listening to our torpedoes hit their targets um, on the hydrophones. All right, go ahead and use some time compression. All right. Impact soon. All right, the, they've merged. Here we go. Now. All right, it's running past. Could have run on her. Let's go ahead and take a look. Whee! Oh boy, I don't see our torpedo. I think it might have went under the target. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it did. What a shame. Oh, I was feeling very confident about that one as well. I could launch another. 
Yeah, I wonder if it went aft. Guess we'll never know because I was just looking at the, uh, <laughs> listening to the hydrophones, which is fine. Thinking of shooting another. Unfortunately, we only have two torpedoes left and one in the back, so this is not an optimal shot. I'm going to go ahead and hold off and save our last three torpedoes for a, another target that is lined up a little better. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get what we wanted here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and drop down to 25 meters and continue on our course. I have a nasty habit of engaging ships that have successfully evaded my torpedoes and uh, you know, launching even more torpedoes at said ship. Uh, with these weather conditions and everything, I think it's best for me to just break off contact Especially a 2,000 ton ship. I'd rather save these torpedoes for something a little bit larger. So we're going to go ahead and sail away and break off uh, c all contact and then continue back down on our course here. Okay, we just surfaced the boat and we have another aircraft. Crash dive. Coming in very fast. Oh, another Avenger. Alright, under, under, under. Rapid. Oh, it looks like the... Nasty skies have dissipated. Nice and sunny out. Well, although the sun is now set, but uh, nice and clear. It's just the, w the waves are a bit choppy, but looks like the weather's really looking up for us. <laughs> uh, these pesky Avengers need to really bugger off, though. Let's see, he's closing pretty quick. He's five kilometers away. All right, um, hard to starboard. Or hard to port, I'm sorry. And, oh boy, this is gonna be close. This is getting dicey. Alright, let's keep those boys on there just in case uh, those depth charges hit us. This is when you cross your fingers and hope <laughs> and hope they uh, miss. They misjudged us. Hopefully we can turn and dive quick enough to evade these guys. Man, my crew is exhausted. All right, I think we're good. Slow down. All right, we evaded another aircraft. Wow, there are a lot of... Oh, Shh, we're taking damage. All right, level out here. All right. I think we just took some damage to the presser hole. Nothing too serious. I say that. I'm actually really curious to see what what our uh, hole integrity is going to be when we get home. Because we have taken a beating this patrol. Especially with these aircraft now. It's actually rather nerve-wracking. So I'm going to stay submerged until it is truly dark out. And then we'll go ahead and surface the boat and uh, see what's going on. But... Yeah, I know this might not be the best area to hang out at, uh, actually. So we'll see. We'll, we'll give it one more day, see how it goes. Hopefully we can find something to launch our torpedoes at. Um, we also need to be looking at going home. My crew's tired, the boat is damaged, and uh, fuel is halfway depleted. So I think it's time to start eyeing home. But we'll uh, stay in this area for a day, maybe two, and uh, see what happens. Isn't that right, Chief? Okay, we have a shift spot at 015 degrees. Dead on the surface. Oh, and they're Shift's neutral. Gesichtet. Damn it. Yeah, they have their lights on. Looks like two ships. But there's a silhouette right there, and that does not look neutral. Um, I don't know if you folks can make that out at home, but that is... There's a silhouette right there um, of a ship that is not lit up. Okay, looks like they're heading fast. Let's go ahead and change. Let's head north, all ahead flank. We have two torpedoes. Um, let's go ahead and start trying to get a 315 here. Oh boy, this is exciting. <laughs> Thankfully, the weather cleared up enough for us to actually see at night. I'm going to have to redo this. See, give our mark right there. And let's start the clock. There we go. That one was good. 
So it looks like we have a formation of two ships right here that I couldn't really see. I saw the lights. Uh, there might be more ships off in the distance that are neutral, but I don't think those are the ships we are pursuing here. It's like three ships. Yeah, that is certainly... That looks like a tanker right there, or maybe an ammunition ship. Apparently there's a lead ship as well. Yep, there's the lead ship. And then way back there, there are, looks like, three neutral vessels. I really can't make out what those are. I can just see their lights on the horizon. This is definitely a tanker of sorts. Let's see. Where are you, my friend? There it is. Yeah, they're saying it's a tanker, so I already know what it is then. Uh, whale factory ship negative. It's a medium tanker here. That's what I'm pretty sure it is. It could also... Yeah, I think it's a medium tanker. So let's go ahead and plug that in for the time being. And keep that up. That's definitely going to be our target, besides the little pipsqueak that's sailing in front. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Now hopefully these guys aren't sailing faster than my top speed here. I do want to get in front of them and submerge so it can make a nice close underwater attack on uh, this big meaty tanker. That would be, we would definitely end the patrol with a bang if we were able to sink this guy and then get on home. Alright, we're closing in on 15 seconds, mark. Okay. Man, we are gunning it. 17 knots, this boat is hauling. Alright, let's see. Looks like 12 knots, wow, yeah. Okay, that sounds about right, though. Man. This will be nice if we're able to sink this guy. And get away with it. Get this out of here. No, 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 no. Surface the boat. Don't dive. Shoot. Alright, thankfully... <laughs> the damage we did there was... Not too bad, we're still moving at a fairly quick pace, and my crew, oh my goodness, this is not good. You go ahead and get up there, pal. You go to bed. You get there. You go there. Um, yeah, I think this will be fine for the time being. And you go to sleep. We could repair our decks, but I'm not worried about that just yet. Uh, we'll repair it on the journey across the Atlantic, which is going to last a while. But let's go ahead and get in front of these guys here. It looks like we're already starting to break off contact. Oh! The men in the diesel rooms are too tired. Get in there. Get in there. Help him out. He's tired. Where's my machinist? Yeah, the crew situation right now is absolutely terrible. <laughs> this is not going... This is not well. Everyone's exhausted. I've been working them like dogs. I feel kind of bad, but... Alright, let's go ahead and... Looks like we are... See, I don't want to blow this and uh, close the gap too soon and have them spot us and start zigzagging and all that jazz. So we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and head full. Drop our speed down to around 16 knots. There we go. And turn in now. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. It's pretty dark out. They probably are equipped with a lay light. Get under. Lots of aircraft out here. Alright, it's closing in rapidly, and they probably picked us up on radar. Uh, hopefully we're able to get under, and hopefully uh, these tankers don't start zigzagging. Oh man, we dived much sooner than I would have liked, but uh, that's the way it's going to have to be. Get under quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh my god, we're only at 12 meters and that plane's flying above us. Hard to starboard. Oh boy. This does not look good for us. Merchant. There's another merchant. Okay, maybe these are the... Shit. Oh, Oh my god. Go to periscope depth. <sighs> wow, that was close. It looks like some bolts burst. That's what I heard. 
My whole integrity must be absolutely awful. <laughs> All right, we're sinking this thing and we're getting out of here. I've I've had enough. I'm I'm done. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to hit the bar. Let's go ahead and slow down to standard speed. Yeah, there's quite a few merchant ships out here. These are definitely those neutral ships I was seeing. Looks like they're sailing in a convoy or something like that. Right, let's come up to periscope depth. Hopefully our our targets here aren't zigzagging. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and upscope. Head two thirds or one third. I'm sorry. Let's find them. There's a neutral ship's way out there. Um, I'm not picking out our friends because the periscope's vibrating so violently. I can't really get a clear picture right now. We need to be under four knots for it to stop doing that. There we go. Sight has cleared up. There she is. That's our tanker. Lock on target. Speed, 12 knots. Set. We'll go ahead and keep heading at four knots just to get as close as we possibly can. Let's actually go standard. Really try to close this gap here, but you know what? I think our time to fire is now. Wow, there's quite a few merchant ships. There's also another merchant ship way out here. I wonder what that is. But you know what? I think this is going to be our last shot of the patrol, and man, this guy's far. Man, that's not good for us, but anyway, it's not what I would prefer, but it's what we're going to have to do. Most of our shots later in the war are going to be at a greater distance than what I'm used to, so that's just something we're going to have to cope with as the war progresses. Let's see, what is the heading of these guys? It looks like they're heading almost due north. It's like they're on a heading of zero four degrees. We need a weapons officer on station. Let's drag him out of bed. Alright, let's go ahead and switch this up to zero four degrees. Go, like so. Angle on bow. 70 degrees. Go. Set. Speed 12 knots. Range. Let's go ahead and we'll send out a ping. There's no destroyers in the area, as far as I know. This is him. 2,000 yards. 2,200. Gyro angle is in position. Draft of this ship is 10.4 meters. We'll set our dra our torpedoes to 11 and a half. Lock on target. Open tubes two and three. Spread one degree spread. Actually, half a degree spread. Gyro angle is already past zero. <sighs> All right. Magnetic long range, 11 meters, 11 and a half meters. AOB. 75 degrees, range 2,000 yard, or meters. All right, tubes two and three. Los, the last shots of the patrol. Let's take a look, that looks okay. Um, range is obviously pretty off, but we'll see if we get them. This would be a nice way to end the patrol if we were actually to end it with a nice meaty medium tanker. It looks like they are running hot straight normal towards the target. Let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? We'll watch it in the 3D view just to get a good picture of what went wrong. <laughs> Very possibly. I'm actually not seeing our torpedoes. But here's the tanker. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, that is a nice tanker. It's American. Looks like it has a pretty big deck on. There's those three uh, whatever neutral ships over there then we have uh... It looks like another Nippon park type tanker here uh... yep that's what it looks like to me and i don't see where our torpedoes are looks like they should be hitting soon although my speed estimation was off yep they should actually be hitting the target fairly soon so here we go give me some fireworks baby we'll see oh yeah they're hunt they're <laughs> going 
It looks really good. I think maybe Tube 2 might run aft here, unfortunately for us, but we'll see. Looks like they might have been going a bit faster than expected. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well, we hit with one. It's like the other torpedo prematurely detonated. Whoa, there goes the star shell. Way out there. Man, I don't know if that's going to be enough, unfortunately. I wonder if it'll be enough to even slow this ship down. Oh, man, these premature detonations are <laughs> really screwing me here. Um, let's go ahead and turn due north, and we'll go ahead and track the target. It looks like we have visual on those three other ships. Let's actually let's check them out. Looks like they're right behind us. It should be pretty easy to see with their lights and all. Yeah, it looks like a pretty big tanker. Another tanker. Wow, three neutral tankers. That's thank you, game. <laughs> That's fine. We got one. I want to say that was a pretty critical hit on the medium tanker here. We can actually look here, right? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, looks like she's lift listening to the aft quite a bit, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to drag her under. Unfortunately, we do have our one torpedo in the aft, so I might re-engage here with that torpedo I'm gonna wait and see if this ship starts slowing down however because if it does and it sinks on its own that would be great and then we'll still have one torpedo to defend ourselves with but if not I will definitely uh, expend this last torpedo to sink the ship so I'll go ahead and keep an eye on the medium tanker and uh, keep you guys updated as the situation develops well we just got the confirmation that she is indeed going down thankfully the one torpedo was enough to drag her beneath the waves here uh, nothing spectacular nothing crazy she's just going to silently slip below the waves no explosions or anything like that so anyway that is probably the final ship of the patrol there that we sent down to the bottom so let's go ahead and change course that other ship's gonna get away. I'm not worried about it. I wanna keep the one torpedo to defend ourselves. And I wanna get out of this area before daylight because these aircraft are really doing a number on me. So we're gonna go ahead and cross the Atlantic. I'm gonna head up here and uh, see if we need a resupply before we head back towards Lorient. Let's go ahead and check our tonnage. Yep, so the Granville we sunk and then the medium tanker which was 9,909 tons. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed on home. And I will go ahead and cut now and get back to you guys as we're crossing the Atlantic. I'm sure we might pick up something along the way, we'll see, but it's gonna be a long journey. So I'll probably cut most of it out and uh, get back to you guys really soon. Well, here we are. Welcome back to Lorient, everybody. We made it home without being detected or attacked by anything else. It's a miracle. Uh, the weather was off and on throughout our journey, but overall, the 6,000 kilometer journey uh, turned out to be fairly, fairly uneventful, which I have to say, I'm okay with, with our one torpedo. But here's Lorient. Nice, calm, clear skies. Perfect weather for uh, hitting the bars. Isn't that right, boys? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and end our patrol now and dock at Lorient. So we ended the mission with 63,581 tons of shipping sunk, and we sunk 10 ships. So, and uh, everyone got back A-OK, -okay, 56 crew healthy. Um, and we started with 56 and we ended with 56, so that's important, right? All right, let's go ahead and dock at Lorient. And our whole integrity, yikes, that is not good. <laughs> It was 59%. So, uh, yeah, we took some damage. We took some hits. Technically, this is patrol number four. For some reason, patrol one was just like, we're just going to... I didn't mean to do that. But uh, this was our third combat patrol, I guess. And we'll just say patrol one was a shakedown cruise. I messed up there. And I'll say that every time. We got a good chunk of renown. I've been promoted. Heck yeah. And I've also been awarded the Knight's Cross. My crew earned medals and promotions. And uh, let's view the captain's log. So we started off sinking the ore carrier, and it looks like we sunk quite a few tankers. We sunk this Nippon Park type tanker, medium tanker, intermediate tanker, modern tanker, and uh, modern tanker, or a medium tanker at the end. So lots of tankers this patrol. It was definitely a tanker heavy uh, 
tanker heavy patrol, which is quite nice. Tankers are a very valuable target. Let's go ahead and check out our medals. Oh yeah, so we have the Iron Cross second class, Iron Cross first class, and then Knight's Cross. We also have the U-Boat War Badge up here. So we're starting to make a name for ourselves. And it's August 7th, 1942. Our boat was in the harbor for quite a long time uh, because of the damage we took. Let's see, let's go ahead and check this out. So we have the IXC-40, which is now available, which is 7,500 renown. We're at 6,737, so this might be a goal for after our next patrol, if we survive, obviously. I could get the 7C right now, but I think I'll wait and hold off and try to get the 40. Conning tower, I can get the second conning tower and we get two weapon emplacements, two like flat guns, uh, but we lose our heavy flak. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. So we have our light flat gun and then our 3.7 centimeter flat gun. I'd rather keep this. Torpedoes, nothing really new. I'll sort through that later. We got some equipment. We have our decoys, you know, and I was thinking about this. I totally forgot to use our decoys during our, uh, our little patrol uh, when our harbor attack when we were being depth charged I could have dropped some decoys and see how they reacted but I completely forgot I had them to be frankly honest with you we have ooh Metox the Biscay Cross I will probably let's go ahead and I'll probably take that actually yeah let's go ahead and throw that on the boat it's only a hundred renown uh, radar we're not worried about that trash radar and uh, yeah that's it we have anti sonar coatings but we'll leave that off for the time being so that pushes the date out to August 8th. See the crew. With four promotions, three Iron Cross second classes, two Iron Cross first classes, one German cross in gold, one U-boat front clasps, and five U-boat war badges. And we also have a qualification handout. So at this point, I am probably, let's go ahead and just get out of here. I am probably going to enable the realistic crew transfers and Silent Hunter 3 Commander. So a lot of my crew who are very experienced will start getting shipped off to better posts and other positions and get promotions and such. Uh, yeah, and some may even become captains, but my crew is not going to be tip top shape. We're going to have replacements and new guys that we're going to have to deal with and uh, mess with that. So overall. This was a very successful patrol. I thank you all for watching it and look forward to patrol number four. I'm thinking we'll go into the South Atlantic this time and uh, patrol off the coast of Africa. I think that'll be a nice change of pace for us. And uh, the Americans are definitely stepping up ASWS efforts as we saw from those uh, multiple Avengers that dropped their bombs upon us. So, um, yep, that's the current plan. If you have other suggestions, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this patrol. And for those of you watching as this released, I hope everyone had a great holiday season. And if you're watching this in the future, I hope you had a great holiday that is recent, whatever it may be. <laughs> so this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you guys on the next episode.